Good evening and welcome to the organizational meeting for Tuesday, January 4th. Everybody can please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Administer the oath of office. Please raise your right hand and read the oath aloud. I, Jeffrey Grigsby, do hereby solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge my duties as member of the Board of Education of North Ridgeville City School District, Lorraine County, Ohio, to the best of my ability and in accordance with the laws now in effect and hereafter to be enacted during my continuance in said office and until my successor is elected and qualified. Thank you, sir. All right, sex. <laughs> yeah, of course. Could you please raise your right hand and read the oath aloud? I, Marcy Saxon, do hereby solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Ohio, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge my duties as member of the Board of Education of the North Ridgeville City School District, Lorain County, Ohio, to the best of my ability and in accordance with the laws now in effect and hereafter to be enacted during my continuance in said office and until my successor is elected and qualified. Congratulations to both of you. Yeah. Roll call, please. <clears throat> Mr. Grigsby. Here. Mrs. McCarthy. Mrs. Saxon. Here. Mrs. Tamira. Here. Mr. Baca. Here. Uh, we will open the floor and accept nominations for position of president of Board of Education. I nominate Mr. Frank Baca for president of the Board of Education. <laughs> Seeing none, uh, can I have a motion to close nominations? Moved. Moved by Ms. Tamira. Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira. Yes. Mr. Grigsby. Yes. Mrs. McCarthy. Mrs. Saxon. Yes. Mr. Baca. Yes. Voting for the office of president as follows. Mr. Grigsby. Frank Baca. McCarthy is absent. Mrs. Saxon. Mr. Frank Baca. Ms. Tamira. Mr. Frank Baca. Yeah. Mr. Frank Baca abstains. I have a motion to accept. Second. Moved by Ms. Tamira, second by Ms. Uh, Saxon. Roll call, please. This is Tamira. Yes. This is Saxon. Yes. Mr. Grigsby. Yes. Mrs. McCarthy. Mr. Baca. Stein. All right. Uh, we will open the floor for nominations for the position of vice president. I would like to nominate Marcy Saxon. Are there 
any others. Seeing none, can I have a motion to close the nominations? No. Move by Ms. Tamira. Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. Morning for the Office of Vice President. Mr. Grigsby? Absent. Saxon? Absent. Ms. Tamira? Mrs. Marcy Saxon. Myself, Mrs. Marcy Saxon. Can I have a motion? Move. Move by Ms. Tamira. Second by Mr. Grigsby. Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira. Yes. Mr. Grigsby. Yes. Mrs. McCarthy. Mrs. Saxon. Same. Mr. Vaca. Yes. Get administer the oath of office. I, Frank Baca, do hereby solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge my duties as President of the Board of Education of North Ridgeville City School District, the Rain County, Ohio, to the best of my ability, in accordance with the laws now in effect and hereafter to be enacted during my continuance in said office until my successor is elected and qualified. Thank you, sir. I'm R.C. Saxon, do hereby solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge my duties as Vice President of the Board of Education of the North Ridgeville City School District, Lorraine County, Ohio, to the best of my ability and in accordance with the laws now in effect and hereafter to be enacted during my continuance in said office and until my successor is elected and qualified. Okay. Appointment of report chairpersons and co-chairpersons. I have a motion. Who? Okay. Moved by Ms. Saxon, seconded by Ms. Tamara. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Baca? Yes. Appointment uh, to the Board of Education members to be liaisons to the following. Do I have a motion? Uh, second. Moved by Ms. Tamira, seconded by Ms. Saxon. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Baca? Yes. Resolution to establish the 2022 Board of Education meeting minutes. It is recommended that the Board of Education schedule the 2022 regular board meetings on the first and third Tuesday of each month beginning at 6 p.m. Second. Moved by Ms. Saxon, second by Ms. Tamira. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Baca? Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education establish the order of business for regular meetings of the board held during the 2022 as follows. Moved by Ms. Tamira. 
Second by Mr. Grigsby. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. We recommended that the Board of Education approve the resolution to authorize the treasurer to secure advances from the auditor for funds lawfully due to the school district as follows. I have a motion. Move. Second. Moved by Ms. Saxon, seconded by myself. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Baca? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mrs. Tamira? Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the resolution to authorize transfer of funds as follows. Moved. Moved by Ms. Saxon. Second by Ms. Tamira. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Ms. Tamira? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Vaca? Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the resolution to approve standing authorizations as follows. Second. Moved by Ms. Tamira, second by Ms. Saxon. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Vaca? Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the resolution to appoint legal counsel as follows. Moved. Okay. Moved by Ms. Tamira, second by Mr. Grigsby. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the resolution to approve the Board of Education membership as follows. Move. Second. Move by Ms. Saxon. Second by Ms. Tamira. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Saxon. Yes. Mrs. Tamira. Yes. Mr. Grigsby. Yes. Mrs. McCarthy. Mr. Vaca. Yes. It is recommended the Board of Education approve the resolution to appoint purchasing agent authority as follows. Move. Move by Ms. Tamira. Second by Ms. Saxon. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Baca? Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the resolution to appoint public records officer as follows. Move. Move. Ms. Saxon? Second? By myself. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Baca? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mrs. Tamira? Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the resolution to appoint suspension hearing officer as follows. Moved. Moved by Ms. Tamira, second by Ms. Saxon. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Baca? Yes. It is recommended the North Ridgeville City Schools Board of Education adjourn this organizational meeting. Second. Moved by Ms. Tamira, second by Ms. Saxon. Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Grigsby? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Mr. Vaca? Yes. All right, and once again, welcome to the school board meeting for Tuesday, January 4th. Everybody could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Stands one nation under God, 
questions? Mr. Grigsby? Here. Mrs. McCarthy? Mrs. Saxon? Here. Mrs. Tamira? Here. Mr. Vaca? Here. Finalization of the agenda. Is there anything to add and or delete? The agenda is final. It's presented. Outstanding. Move right into the superintendent's charter report. Excellent. I'm going to turn it right over to Mr. Pacini to give us an update on the tax budget. Thank you, Mrs. Casario. So the tax budget is the first step in the, the planning and preparation of the district's budget. Uh, it works in conjunction with our five-year forecast and the appropriation measure established by the Board of Education. Uh, the tax budget considers all fund types over the course of one year. Ohio Revised Code does require that the Board of Education adopt a tax budget no later than January 15th of each calendar year for the following fiscal year, which begins uh, July 1st. This helps to uh, align the district's finances and plans on a fiscal year basis with uh, a calendar year basis of collection and distribution of taxes. Once the, the tax budget is approved by the Board of Education, it gets submitted to the County Budget Commission for review and approval there. Uh, once it is uh, approved by the Budget Commission, the district is issued its original certificate of estimated resources. And it is that certificate that governs the, the maximum amount available for spending uh, in that fiscal year. The original certificate is then a it gets adjusted throughout the fiscal year in the form of appropriation uh, amendments and estimated resource amendments that you will see on a board agenda from time to time um, as those estimates become actual figures uh, and to reflect any new information uh, that, that we may become aware of, uh, such as federal grant funding. Uh, so it is an important first step that helps us to ensure that uh, we are able to set the appropriate amounts needed for operational spending uh, of the district. Uh, the fund types uh, on the 2022-2023 tax budget are projected, all of them are projected to have positive ending fund balances by the end of the next fiscal year, uh, with total estimated revenue being comprised of 65% tax revenue, 21% state revenue, and 14% other miscellaneous revenue. Does anyone have any questions on the tax budget? Thank you. I'll turn it over to Mr. Pitt. I just want to say to Mr. Grigsby on behalf of the administrative team, welcome. Uh, we're very excited to have you and look forward to working with you throughout the next few years. So thank you for being here. And congratulations to Mr. Vaca and Ms. Saxon for your continued leadership as part of this board. Again, on behalf of our team here, we're certainly uh, very blessed to have all of you and really appreciate this board and all that you've done to support us over the time that we've been together. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, our final report tonight, I'm going to turn over to Mr. Pitt. He's going to talk to the board a little bit about an update to our web hosting uh, services, which translates to our website. So Mr. Pitt. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope your holidays you. were pleasant and restful and relaxing. So um, as Mrs. Casario said, we just want to talk briefly about our web hosting and potentially looking to present a contract to you to make some changes to that, including the hosting company. So I want to give a shout out first to Mr. Amin, who has done a lot of this like work himself, um, and who's really the face of making all this stuff happen behind the scenes. So what we are looking at would be to bring you a three-year contract to take on um, a new hosting service through Blackboard Communications. So Blackboard currently does all of our um, communication services, our robocalls that we put out, our email and all of that. So we're looking to really streamline that into an additional product. What that will allow for our families to do is really a couple of things that I think are important. Number one is it will allow them to choose the notifications that they're getting. So if they want to subscribe to what's happening at the high school, they have the ability to subscribe to what's happening at the high school. As things change on the website, it will push those uh, notifications to families. And we know with everybody as busy as they are, we live in a world to where we have information come to us. So I think that will be beneficial for us. The second piece it will do is it will clean up the mobile piece for us. Because if you currently look at our mobile setup, um, if you attempt to find out where our basketball team is playing tonight on a mobile device takes you seven steps or seven clicks. 
Um, what they will tell you is generally if you go beyond three or four clicks, you're probably going to lose the person looking for that information. So it's going to make that information much more available to our families. And then the third piece will it will help with our ADA compliance. So our website meets its basic ADA compliance, which is required. Um, upgrading to the new system will make sure that not only is our website compliant, but we'll make sure that any of our attachments that we upload are compliant as well. So if you think about the PS suppliers we have for um, fundraiser night, it will assure that those items are compliant to our website as well, which I think would be greatly beneficial to us. So, um, if we look to make the change, it will be a slight increase over where we currently are. So to give you an idea, currently for our web hosting, we pay just under $10,000 a year. Um, a contract, if we move this route, would be 14 for the first year, which would include all of our setup costs. And then thereafter, moving forward, it'd be just a little bit over 12. Um, so it would be some additional costs, but I think that's going to come with additional benefits. Those costs are already discounted because we are black board members for the communications piece. So that gets us between a 25 and a 30 percent discount. Um, so some extremely good positives there as we move forward. Uh, we would look to make this transition over the course of the summer. So we'd finish out our current contract that would give us time with our current provider to let them know we're going to make this change. And then we'd give Mr. Amin and his team uh, time to work with the different departments to make sure everything's up to date just the way they want it to work. Uh, the group with Blackboard will move over our stuff, but they describe it well. You know, when you buy a new house, you don't always take your junk drawer. Um, and I think that's a, a good way to describe moving a website is, you know, we'll go to sit with each individual department and decide what is it that we want there, what is it that we want available to our folks, and really build the website from scratch to make sure those are available. That is typically a two-month process. So um, if it sounds okay to you, we would present the uh, approval for the three-year at our next January meeting so that Mr. Amin has time to move forward with planning, um, getting everything aligned. Getting with all those departments and have websites and figure out, you know, what are we taking, what are we leaving? They have us a nice, pretty bow in the fall. So, any questions? Questions? I, for one, am very excited about the mobile piece because uh, you're right, seven or eight steps. I check out at two or three steps typically. Um, and it's frustrating. And my wife has shared repeatedly how frustrating that is. And a family that typically uses just the mobile component, I'm excited about that. I'm equally excited at the opportunity for parents to opt out of getting information that's not necessarily pertinent to their family. Uh, when you get inundated with so much stuff, again, you start to check out and they might miss something that they truly would benefit from. So I'm excited at the opportunity this presents. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There's an opportunity of hearing of the public. Anybody in attendance would like to approach the podium. Now is your opportunity. Seeing none, we'll move on. Moving right into the education report, Ms. Tamira. Thank you. We have one agreement under our education report. We have a renewal agreement with Learning A to Z. This is a multi-year agreement that will be for the 2022 to 2025 school year. This purchase will be paid for from ESSER funds. This is the first reading for these items. The second reading and consideration for approval will be at the January 18th regular meeting. Thank you. Moving to policy committee report, Ms. Saxon. Yes, this is a first reading of new and revised set of policies hosted by Neola. The committee has reviewed and made edits to the policies listed below. The second reading and consideration for approval will be at the January 18th regular meeting. We will move into the communications report. Mr. Grigsby. It's recommended that the Board of Education accept the following gifts with appreciation. First, 50 gently used reading books were donated by the Stahl family to the North Ridgeville Academic Center Media Center. Second, toys, a recess cart, a lunch cart, and gift cards for staff and Christmas items were donated by the Sterling Lion Church to the staff and students of the Early Childhood Learning Community. Third, a monetary donation of $1,280 was donated by North Ridgeville Athletic Boosters for the purpose of purchasing track jerseys and shorts for the high school track team. $10 was donated by Jennifer Hicks through the Charities Aid Foundation of America Employee Giving Campaign to the North Ridgeville City Schools. Fifth, four gently used reading books were donated by the Ramaj, or Ramaj? I'm not sure. 
uh, family to the North Ridgeville Academic Center Media Center. Four gently used reading books are donated by the Coates family to the North Ridgeville Academic Center Media Center. A gently used sound mixer, CD player, a rack and stand were donated by Tom Marzell to the North Ridgeville High School Choir. Eight, the $125 was donated by Miss Angela Brooks to the North Ridgeville High School Entrepreneurship Scholarship Fund. And miscellaneous items, which include duster wands, safety glasses, classroom US flags, grinding wheels, and other miscellaneous items were donated by Mel and Janet Hanachek to the maintenance, transportation, and high school shop classes. Thank our community for the tremendous support of our schools and students. We'll move into the human resources report. Saxon. Yes, we have a number of items in the human resources report. This is the first reading for these items. The second reading and consideration for approval will be at the January 18th regular meeting. 81 special project supplemental contracts, three NREA supplemental contracts, four non NREA supplemental contracts, one hourly tutor contract, three support staff leaves of absence one support staff resignation. This concludes the human resources report. All right, let's move into the finance audit report. The item for consideration under the finance audit report is our annual tax budget. Ohio revised code mandates the adoption of the tax budget no later than January 15th of each year for the succeeding fiscal year. This is the initial step in the district-wide budgeting and planning initiatives. The tax budget is submitted to the county auditor and serves as a basis for the certificate of estimated resources for the next fiscal year. A motion to approve the finance report in one reading. Moved by myself, second by Mr. Mira. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Vaca. Yes. Mrs. Tamira. Yes. Mr. Grigsby. Yes. Mrs. McCarthy. Mrs. Saxon. Yes. It is recommended that the Board of Education adjourn this regular meeting. Okay. Moved by Mrs. Tamira, second by Ms. Saxon. Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira. Yes. Mrs. Saxon. Yes. Mr. Grigsby. Yes. Mrs. McCarthy. Mr. Vaca. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your evening. Thanks. Thank you.